place it looks like time forgot deep in the woods of Union County, the deserted village of Feltville, 19th century factory town turned mountain resort turned piece of deteriorating history. I went to Feltville last week amid the gloom of a persistently rainy day to explore the place and maybe find the secrets it was hiding. But was I alone? Well, hey, I felt like I was the only one here. Nice to meet you, I'm Alex Dan. I'm Dan. Dan, nice to meet you. Dan Bernier is the Director of Park Planning and Environmental Services for Union County. He is one of Feltville's few permanent residents. He moved there with his wife 25 years ago to supervise the ongoing restoration. Our families were, were taking bets on how long we would stay. Okay. They all lost. They thought you weren't going to last very long? Uh, some people thought we might last two weeks. Most times of the year, the deserted village is anything but. In addition to Dan, the place is open to the public, and he says 100,000 people come to visit. And it's residents like Dan, yes, they still have to pay rent. What's it like at night out here? It's quiet, it's dark. The place was first settled in 1736 by an Englishman who built a sawmill there, but gets its name from David Feld, who took over the property in the 19th century and built mills that printed stationery. It was taken over by Warren Ackerman, who turned it into a mountain resort that ultimately lost favor when a little thing called the Jersey Shore became popular. I had heard that the town had ghost stories, including one of three girls who went off into the woods, never to return, only their bonnets found on the ground left behind. That, that's a, a minor story. Um, I've been here 25 years. Uh -huh. I haven't seen a ghost yet. Hmm. Anyway, the deserted village is a fine place to go to escape the 21st century for a little while even if the guy behind much of the restoration is just perfectly fine with 2017 himself. No, I like living in this era, but my wife and I often said, wouldn't it be nice to go back for an hour? You know, when you're doing a, a restoration on a building, you're doing the plans and you're wondering like, should it look like this? Should it look like that? It'd be nice to be able to stroll through and see what it looked like originally. So you want to go back in time because you're a perfectionist, basically. Yeah, that's probably more it. 